I welcome you today to this moment around God's Word and prayer again. We are walking through a study that we'll be concluding this week on the names of God. And we come today to a favorite of many. It's Jehovah Shalom. Hebrew word Shalom, peace. This is the Lord, our peace. And Shalom is such a holistic word. It means more than I don't have anxiety. It, it's the ultimate wellness word. That everything is settled and right with God, right with ourselves, right with the world. It's just that sense that keeps us, no matter what's going on around us. In fact, this wellness word is the work of God's Spirit in our lives, giving us peace, because the Lord is our peace, Jehovah Shalom. And we, we come across this in the story of Gideon, way back in Judges chapter 6. God is calling Gideon to be a deliverer. And he finds Gideon, of all things, scared of the Midianites, as everybody else was. So he was hiding in a wine press, uh, threshing wheat, of all things. And in, in this picture of cowardice, in this picture of fear, here comes God. And verse 22, when Gideon realized that it was the angel of the Lord, he exclaimed, Alas, sovereign Lord, I've seen the angel of the Lord face to face. But the Lord said to him, Shalom, peace. Don't be afraid. You are not going to die. So Gideon built an altar to the Lord there and called it Jehovah Shalom. The Lord is peace. This is the God who, who not only is the God of peace, but he's in the business, thank God, of keeping our hearts at peace as well when we're focused on him. Isaiah 26 and verse 3 you will keep him in perfect peace, perfect shalom. Those whose mind are steadfast because they trust in you. You'll keep him in perfect peace. Those whose minds are steadfast. What's it mean to have a steadfast mind? It means we're focused on the Lord that when he becomes the center of our attention, he shares his peace with us and he keeps our heart. He, he will he will keep you in perfect peace, it says. And I love just a few verses later in Isaiah 26 and verse 8. It says, yes, Lord, walk in the way of your law. We wait for you. For your name and your renown are the desire of our hearts. That This is the place where peace will come. When, when the name and, uh, and the renown of the Lord becomes the very desire of our heart. And when we're just waiting, he says, yea, Lord, we wait for you because your name and renown... Are, are, are what our hearts desire. Uh, this, it's this being steadfast of mind uh, that, that just focused on the Lord that opens the doorway to God's peace. You may have to edit out the news today. You may have to edit out just, just the worrisome thoughts today. But I challenge you, this is the God who keeps us in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on the Lord. And just wait on Him and focus on Him. And I love, of course, what Jesus said in John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give you as the world gives. Don't let your hearts be troubled. And don't be afraid. Our world is so out of control right now. And there's pandemics and viruses. There's people dying. There's unemployment. There's rioting and violence in our streets. There's shootings in the inner cities. There's everything out of control right now. But I want to tell you, God says, I'm not going to give you the world's kind of peace. I will give you my shalom. So let's focus our hearts on him. Lord, as your word said in Isaiah, we wait for you. Your, your name and your renown are the desire of our hearts. And we just need you to keep us in perfect peace as our minds are steadfast upon you. I pray that you, by your Spirit, will come into our lives. I pray wherever worry has dominated us, wherever fear of the unknowns of tomorrow, wherever a chaotic world has touched us, we pray that you will disengage us from that and you will give us peace that the world can't give us. Your peace, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for it in your name. Amen.